Hi, it's Elliot from the Neat Customer Success Team here. And today I'm going to walk you through some features of our Neat Frame when configured as a personal device for Microsoft Teams. My Neat Frame is a companion device to my Windows laptop and I'll show you how to set that up now. Tap on your profile picture on the Neat Frame. Tap on here where it says connect a device. So it's looking for a device. Because I have Teams signed in on my laptop, it's found my Windows laptop here. Tap on connect and I'll get a message popping up on my laptop or making sure that the connection is authorized. So click on connect on my laptop. And it's as simple as that. The neat frame is now paired to my Windows laptop. While we're here in settings on the frame, tap on settings and let's go into the neat system settings and set the framing boundary. So that is under device settings and then audio and video. And here you can see my framing boundary. So you'll notice behind me I have a glass wardrobe. If I was in a Teams meeting and my reflection was visible, the NEAT camera would try and bring that reflection into the meeting, which could be distracting for the remote participants. So you can see, you can set the width and the depth sliders here. And while ever I've got a green square around my face, that means I'm going to be framed into the meeting. So if I put that all the way down to one meter by one meter and I move back outside the one meter range, you'll see I get a red square. <coughs> so let's pop that up to maybe Two meters, uh, two meters of width and two meters of depth. That should work well for my, my particular room here. So we can exit out of the settings there for the framing boundary and tap on the home button. Now that my neat frame is paired with my Windows laptop, if I wanted to lock my neat frame, it's as simple as using the keyboard shortcut on my Windows laptop, Windows and L. So that quickly locks, locks my laptop and it also locks my neat frame. If I tried to unlock it, I'd be presented with the pin prompt. I have a fingerprint reader, so I'm going to unlock my laptop and that will instantly unlock my neat frame, ready to start working again. So your neat frame is always ready when you are. My neat frame gives me an at a glance view of my day's calendar, which I find very useful so I can plan my day while I'm working. I can also configure that. So I swipe to the next screen and then the third screen here lets you move things around. So you can change, if you wanted to have the activity tab first, you could do that, but I like having my calendar. So you just simply tap on it and drag and drop and tap save. And it puts your calendar at the top there. So I can see I've got a meeting that I can join now. It's got a join button. That means it's a Microsoft Teams meeting. So let's tap on that join button. Join now. And what you'll see happening now is that my Teams client on my laptop has automatically joined the meeting in a muted state with no camera. What it's doing that for is if someone else wants to share content into the meeting, we, can, we have now another option. We can view the content on my big second screen here. We can also view the shared content on the frame and pinch to zoom to make it bigger or smaller. Uh, but for sharing content myself, if I want to share content into the meeting, it's also easier because my laptop's in the meeting. I can simply just click on the share button on my Teams client and that shares the content into the meeting, which I can do right now. So let's click on share. I want to select a window. I'm going to share my um, browser up here. This one, there we go. So that's now sharing into the meeting. If I go and start the meeting on my Nick board over here, I'll make sure that's muted. So you can see the view coming down on my frame here from the neat board. Um, content is available here. I can make that bigger there. Like I said, pinch to zoom, move that around. Very easy. Um, while I'm also seeing the content on my laptop. So I can make that as big as I want. So that's nice and easy. I'll stop sharing. And if I leave the meeting from my frame here, I'll tap on end, I'll hang up. It also ends the meeting on my laptop. Because my neat frame is signed in using my credentials, it also has access to all my OneDrive and SharePoint files. So if I tap on the more button here and tap on files, you can see all my recent files or if I wanted to go into my OneDrive, I could go into there. Uh, so let's open a PowerPoint presentation. And you'll see I have an option here that says open on desktop. So this will just download from the web, uh, from the Microsoft Cloud, I should say. You can navigate through with the little navigation buttons down the bottom there. But if I wanted to edit this document, I can tap on open on desktop. 
and it actually opens within my Teams client, which is kind of cool, with the option to edit. So at the moment, it's just opening on my Teams client in view mode. So now I can scroll through and view the presentation, but I have an ed edit button here, which will allow me to edit this within the Teams client, or I have a drop down to allow me to edit on the desktop PowerPoint app or in a browser. So let's just see what it looks like within the Teams client. I'll click on edit there. And that's opening a version of the Microsoft PowerPoint application within Teams. So it's super handy. And as you can see, I can make any changes that I want. For example. So I can close that. And if I tap on the X on my frame, that closes that down that. Tap on the little home icon in the top left corner here to go back home. And other options are contacts. You can look up a a contact and call them directly in Teams. Just tap in the search field there to get the on-screen keyboard. And I could call Christina via a video call or a, a Teams voice call. I'll cancel that and go back home. So with my NetFrame configured as a Microsoft Teams personal device, it gives me a lot of flexibility, a much more natural meeting experience if I have a lot of Teams meetings during the day. I can get up and walk around my room and the auto framing camera will follow me around the room. The microphone array in the neat frame will make sure I'm heard wherever I'm standing. I don't get the fatigue of having headphones on my ears all day for many hours of meetings. It's just a much easier, more comfortable way to meet. And when working as a companion device to my laptop, it's completely seamless.